Hi, and welcome to the InnerRange T4000 installation video. This is the T4000 and it's the latest 3G alarm communicator from InnerRange. It's the perfect way to upgrade phone dialer security systems where a traditional phone line is no longer present. With the rollout of the national broadband network, many homes and businesses around Australia are being upgraded to a mix of new broadband technologies. Quite often, this leaves their older generation security systems permanently disconnected. The amazing multipath IP network with its dual SIM capability will guarantee your alarms get through to the monitoring station every time. As you're about to see, it's just so easy to install. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install, commission and test the T4000. We are also using an inner range integrity security system. The steps in this video are identical to that of any dialer-based alarm panel that you may encounter. Let's take a look at the T4000 and its range of connectivity options. 12 to 24 volt DC input, battery backup, ethernet for alarm reporting, input for cabinet tamper or duress, output for key switch zone, arm and disarm, high speed serial ports, PSTN input for dialer capture, PSTN backup for dial through. Here we have the T4000 kit. A magnetic base antenna is provided. This can easily be attached to the top of your alarm panel enclosure. All the necessary mounting hardware, connectors and a dialer capture lead are provided. The T4000's small footprint allows it to easily retrofit into existing alarm cabinets. Before you go ahead and secure the T4000 into the enclosure, it's recommended that you find the best 3G signal reception on the GSM network. Let's go over the installation in three simple steps. Step one, connect the T4000 to your alarm panel's 12 volt detector power supply. If your alarm panel cannot support any more devices, the T4000 is capable of being powered standalone by a DC plug pack. At this time, you can also connect the alarm panel's dialer cable to your T4000. Step two, position the antenna for maximum signal reception. Now that the T4000 is powered up, it will attempt to make contact with the inner range cloud and wait for enrollment by the central station operator. Keep an eye on the GSM reg indicator. It will turn on solid once connected to the GSM network. The color of the GSM reg LED indicates the GSM signal. Red indicates that you should try and get a better signal. Yellow indicates an acceptable signal strength. Green indicates excellent signal strength. The GSM Reg LED is great for identifying the best signal available by moving the antenna and keeping an eye on the LED colour. If the GSM Reg LED has not gone solid within a couple of minutes, there may not be sufficient GSM signal in your current location. In this case, a high gain antenna may be required. Step three, now that the T4000 has connected to the 3G network, the host LED will turn on solid. The T4000 is now ready for enrollment with your central monitoring station. To enroll your T4000, call your monitoring center and quote the T4000's TM serial number to the operator. I will now guide you through the steps that the operator will take to fully enrol your T4000. Firstly, log into the Multipath IP client software. Click the Enroll New STU icon and enter the T4000 serial number, client code and site name. Select a plan for this site. The plan will determine the T4000's polling rate and supervision time. Select the bureau that the T4000 belongs to. The system is now fully programming the T4000. Select the communications mode. For this installation, we are using dialer capture. Select the reporting format. We are using contact ID for this installation. The T4000 is also capable of reporting IR fast with review text to the central station. 
The system is now programming the T4000. Once complete, click the finish button to finalise enrolment. Our T4000 is now fully enrolled and is ready to test. The best way to test your T4000 is to generate an alarm event and then call your monitoring station to verify that it has been received. Once you've generated an alarm event, pay attention to the alarm's LED. When this LED lights up, it indicates that the T4000 has successfully received an alarm from the alarm panel. The alarm's LED will turn off once the alarm has been successfully sent to the monitoring centre. Thank you for watching the T4000 installation video. Be sure to check out our other videos and subscribe to the Inner Range YouTube channel.